I'm out of breath. Exclaim Mobile. If we can get the founder and CEO, Brian Malpin, down here, please. everybody. I'm Paul Ron Call, and I'm with Exclaim Mobile. Uh, Brian actually got called away to Chicago at a potential sales meeting, so I will be pinch hitting tonight. So what Exclaim Mobile does is we help extend the life of digital ads by 25 times. Last year, digital marketers spent nearly $60 billion on digital ads. And they only got a click-through rate anywhere from 0.06% up to 3%. And despite these miserable returns, they're projected to spend an additional $10 billion next year. So with 97% of what they're spending being wasted, let's make the most of it. Currently, digital ads have a lifetime span of about three days. And this is actually a graph of a campaign that we ran. And what we were able to show is that we were able to extend that life beyond that initial three days and get re-engagement from the customers. Why were we able to bring a solution to this problem? Well, quite simply, we lived it. Brian, our CEO and co-founder, has over two decades of experience at AT&T. And during those two decades, he was often in the middle of mergers and acquisitions. And he was tasked with combining seemingly incompatible and oftentimes competing systems to work together. So he would team up with Josh, our CTO, who is a data and AI engineer. And then myself, I, my last role, I worked for a SaaS-based digital marketing company where I taught clients how to use the software in addition to consulting on content and frequency. And when I was presented with the chance to work for Brian, I knew I had to be part of it. And so at Exclaim Mobile, we want to make it as easy as possible for the digital marketer to use. And so what we are is we help enable those digital ads to work better and last longer. So we are incorporated with the way a corporate marketer works. So they go about placing an ad like they normally would on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email. And what we do is we help beef up those ads and give them more life. So consumer will see the ad, click on it, be asked to download it to their mobile device. And mobile usage is going up, but app downloads are down. And so what Exclaim does is we leverage pre-installed apps, Android Pay, Apple Pay, MS Wallet, that are pre-installed in over 250 million devices. Once it's saved, the consumer now has an offer that they can be redeemed at a time that is relevant to them, as well as a place that is also relevant to them. So we can send in a notification based off a of location, hey, redeeming offer nearby, as well as time sensitive notifications. Offer expires soon. Make sure to redeem today. And what we've done is create a one-to-one -one digital marketing communication channel, which every corporate marketer craves, which is why we've gotten interest from some of these brands, such as Audi Finance, Coca-Cola, Tuesday Morning, because they've seen what we've done with AT&T. Yeah. In the last six months, those ads have given life by 25 times. We were able to get a click-through rate of 42%, and in doing so, we took the cost to acquire a new customer from $250 to $34, showing a savings of 86%. So our big ask today is that you please vote for Exclaim Mobile. Thank you. Nice. You had a minute to go. You had a minute to spare. Good job. Okay, let's uh, allow our judges to... My friends would be very surprised that it was actually early. <laughs> just go, go, go right ahead. Hey, thanks for coming tonight. Um, can you tell us a little bit about where you are? It's unclear of like customer 
space, traction, you said interest from brands. Can you tell us a little bit more where, where you are with the traction? Um, yes, so actually part of the reason Brian isn't here is that uh, we have channel partners with TransUnion as well as AppNexus. So he's currently meeting in Chicago with them uh, yesterday, today, and tomorrow uh, about potential sales with them. And then all the logos I showed today are uh, brands that we have a demo in front of and interest from. So we've started the conversation with them. What sort of privacy issues do you deal with, like with taking ads, with names, going over to accounts of other people that are providing those services? Uh, great question. Um, in the process of clicking on the ad, they will the customer will be asked if they want to opt in. By saying yes, they agree to opt in to the process. Who would you say are primary competitors that we might have heard of? Uh, <laughs> uh, Urban Airship, Vibes, and we threw Verb on there, but they're kind of a different product and a different niche. So, But we're the only one that can work on all three OS systems. What's the uh, percentage of conversion of opt-in rates? Because I believe that there was a, the opportunity to opt in for free ads and then they were able to turn around. Uh, that is a good question. I actually don't know the number off the top of my head. But remember, originally starting with that initial click of 3%, and then after that, once it's saved, we do get uh, greater engagement because they're, they're agreeing to save it and opt in. Hey, you mentioned uh, Brian spent 20 years in, in uh, digital marketing at AT&T, and, and um, that you had some kind of stats there. Where, where does AT&T stand as a customer? Um, so in the last six months, we've been working with them on a small scale using uh, their email marketing campaigns. But recently, we've been getting in talks with them about expanding that into uh, their other digital ads as well, such as Search Engine and uh, Facebook and Twitter and what have you. And you mentioned your pitch hitting for Brian tonight. How many live pitches have you done for Exclaim Mobile? <laughs> Goose egg, zero. Yeah. One. Woo! But I'm not one now, so. In the audience, Q&A? Um, so it's Paul, is it? Yep. Okay, so first of all, what is your role if you're not out pitching Exclaim Mobile? And then the actual question is, who are you looking to speak with at the companies that you're currently pitching to? What's the name, the title, the type of person that you're looking to get in touch with? Okay, um, as far as my role, I am in marketing, and so I've been helping Brian build out a lot of these demos for potential clients as well as on the side, I also do a little Q&A for the uh, software when I have time. And uh, what is the second part of the question? Uh, basically, the corporate marketer uh, that, that deals in the uh, digital ad space. Good evening. My name is Bill. Great presentation. Thank you. Um, but I, I would like to ask, um, you brought the cost of acquiring a customer down, but did you increase the percentage of actually bringing a customer in-house? Um, well, what we've shown is once they save the offer, um, we get re-engagement from the customer. So well after the uh, offer, the initial offer, they are clicking on the pass and clicking on the offer to go to their social media links, engage with calling their, um, getting in contact with them as well as emailing them. So can I just ask one? When you t I just want to clarify, you're, you're the only one, so Vibes and Urban Airship don't work on all, on all operating systems? Correct. Thank you. Once I save it to my phone, how long is it there for? Uh, it lives on uh, until you decide you don't want it anymore and you can remove it. So basically it lives on in perpetuity. So you'll just be able to continue? Continue to communicate with that customer. <laughs> I saw a lot of large brands. Uh, do you have anything that's going to be offered to a small business customer? Uh, we're mostly focusing on the big brands, uh, but in the future we might offer a uh, leaner version for the mom and pop shops. 